So I went mining and this is what I have. So I'm going to fortune pick this and let's see how much I get. Okay, so I'm done and I got about nine stacks. And I started off with five stacks I think it was, so quite a decent haul. Next we're going to do the redstone. And here's the redstone. Didn't get quite as much as coal, but we'll still see how much we're going to get. Okay, let's see how much we got. Uh, one, two, three, four. Six and a half stacks, so that's quite good. That will last me a little bit. I hope it will last me uh, up until I can finish the uh, mob, mob spawner. So yeah, I've got some lapis as well, but that's boring, so I'm not going to show you that. So, I've actually found out whose base this was. It turns out it's Enigma's. But, um, it was his old base, and it's now disused, and he gave me the go-ahead to destroy it. However, he wanted me to keep the resources intact, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to strip it all from all the wood and everything, and the lamps and everything like that, and I'll put that all in the chests somewhere else, and then I can blow it up. Now I'm not just going to just haphazardly blow it up. Well I am, but um, yeah, I, I'm going to give it some shape with the TNT. And not to forget that he asked me to not kill this chicken up here because apparently it is precious to him. So I shan't ha harm the chicken. Um, but yeah, this is probably going to take quite a while. So the next time you probably s you'll see see is when this is all stripped of everything. So I shall see you then. Okay, so I've made some progress um, stripping Enigma's old base. I haven't completely finished doing it but it's pretty bare now so what I'm going to do is, because I don't really like this square look to the ceiling, what I'm going to do is um, blow up the top the ceiling of it. So if I go up here, start making a, a tunnel like that, sort of thing. I'll stop blow, start blowing it up. Get a lever. Okay. Let's see. Yeah, so I'll just basically do that with the whole ceiling, which will probably take a while, but it'll be worth it, so I will see you then. Alrighty, it's time to show you the progress I've made. Um, I'm not particularly happy with it yet. So it's still kind of square looking the whole room, and quite dark as well, but that does not really matter. Um, yeah. See, I tried to blow it up a bit, but it's still got that shape to it. And another thing is that it's at, like, very, very close to bedrock, so it's got that fog, which is kind of a pain. But yeah, at the moment I've just uh, done this half, covered it in mycelium. And I've just opened it up and done this little crude stairway thing down. Um, I'm not sure if I'm actually going to use that room because it might make this centre bit. Because I want to keep this centre raised, so it might make it look a bit weird. Though I'm not sure. I'm, I might do something with it. But yeah, next thing I'm going to have to do the other side and try and make the room look less square somehow. I'm not sure I'm going to do that. Although I might be stopping this uh, undershroom for the time being because I am sick of looking at mycelium and dirt at the moment. 
Okay, so I'm going to be starting yet another project. It might seem that I'm just starting loads of projects, not finishing them, but I am going to finish them. I just want to sort of start them, so if I get bored with one, I can just go to a different one. So that I just do half ass half ass a job. So this one involves the nether. And a lot of you are probably going to be saying this is completely inefficient and there are better ways to do it, but this is probably probably more for decoration and to add a little bit of um, a building or something. So the idea is I can get over there. So down here there is a humongous lava lake, right? And as you probably already know, lava in buckets can, is um, the best fuel in the game. It can do 100 smelts and um, yeah, it's basically just a big lake of fuel. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set up a base down there and it will basically be a smelting area. So I don't have to go mining for coal go look for blaze rods or anything like that because there's just this humongous lake of lava it's just fuel just there waiting for me to take it but the problem is I'm going to need to find a way to get down there oh it's an island there but I kind of want to yeah actually I could do it on that island I suppose yeah I might do it on that island so once I've sort of set up a bit of base a bit of protection from the ghasts I will get back to you on that okay danger building very dangerous. If I die right now, if that zombie pigment pushes me in. In fact, I push him in. Don't push me in. Could really, really, really do with a fire resistant potion, but I don't think anyone has one to spare. How far out is that? Go a little bit further. Yeah, it's probably like the most dangerous thing to do in game. Building a bridge on Netherrack over a lake of lava. Um if I hear a cast I am running. Uh yeah, maybe just a tiny bit further. Oh no! Oh, no, 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 no. Crap. If that's blown up my bridge. Ow! I think he's blown up a little bit. Oh no, not two. No! Oh, fuck off. Crap. No! Okay. Oh, this is so dangerous. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to... I'm going to have to set up a base floating in the lava of stone so that they can't blast at me. So, I've made some progress on that. Okay, so... I've destroyed the bridge because it's supposed to be in the middle of the lake. And I set up this portal. And I have now a bow with me. Yeah, you're dead. Okay. And I synced the portal up in the overworld. I bet it's night. Nope, it's not. Oh, surprising. Just by a swamp. Um, which direction is spawn? Minus 50... I think it's that. Must be like... This way, maybe? I don't know. But yeah. Basically, I'm going to set up the one in the nether, though, is... I'm going to, obviously, make it a lot safer as is, because at the moment it's just a stone platform. I'm going to make it safer. And I'm going to set up loads of furnaces, I'm going to have lots of buckets, and I'm going to set up some sort of like tube system so I can just go and scoop up the lava. Then I can put it in a furnace, and then I've got fuel for a, a, a long time. 
So yeah, that's how it's going to play out. It might be a bit of a nuisance to try and get to the actual platform, but I could probably just use an enderpearl from up. Actually, I'm going to get back right now. Um, I could probably enderpearl down, but I don't think it's very safe to enderpearl up. Um, yeah, that'd be a bit risky. Um, where is that? See, that's where the hole was. That's where the island I was talking about earlier. I could probably somehow make a diving area to get down quicker. But getting back might be a bit of a nuisance. So I might have to set up a stairway or something. Hmm. Yeah. Well, it's probably going to be it for today.